on it. So, it's still September, so that means you still have time to go to the description down below and donate to Curing Kids Cancer on my Tiltify page to be able to raise some money for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, which is September. So, back to your regularly scheduled video. It's Amy, and for today's video, I decided I'm going to try this thing that I've seen on different platforms and I haven't seen that many people make it, but I've seen a lot of people try it and it looks really good. And it is Korean corn dogs. So, um, I'm not sure what that means, but the way I've seen it, it's like a hot, like a hot dog on a stick, and then cheese, and then like covered in something, and then you bite into it and it's like very stringy, cheese-like. I don't know, but it looks really good and I want to try it, so now I'm going to try to do it. So I have a recipe on my phone, which uh, I will link down below so you guys can try it because I am not an official uh, person that you should trust on making this because this isn't cooked. <laughs> I don't think you should trust me doing this. This is going to take a long time. Basically, I have everything I need which is my all-purpose flour, my rice flour, as you've seen in one other video. Um, I do not know how to use this, so it's gonna be very fun. Some salt, some instant, rapid rising, fast-acting yeast, and then a, a thing, like this. And also, um, I'm trying to see this in Spanish, and the problem with that is that in Mexico, many people use grams, and here in the United States of America, we use cups. So I have uh, tried to translate all of these uh, ingredients to cups and tablespoons and teaspoons. So I hope this ends up turning well, but mostly it's probably not going to because it's me. So um, I'm going to, crap, I didn't get a bowl. I also need water. Okay. I am already messing everything up. So I'm gonna do the flour. I need to calm down. So I need two and a half cups of flour and it is 300 grams. So I hope that translates in my cutting, I'm, I wait. So that better be correct because I really wanna do this correctly. So here's one cup, two cups, and two and a half. And now how much of rice flour? Half a cup of rice flour. And here is half a cup of rice flour. And now I need to watch the video because I did not check on what else. Also it says warm water and I don't know what that means because I know that for yeast it has to be like a certain temperature. Oh, I'm spilling. It has to be like a certain temperature. So I'm scared about that. So I'm gonna grab another bowl because I need to put the water and stuff. Why is the conversion of water wrong? It said, okay, flour is 300 grams. It's getting too hot in here. Do I have like a calculator thingy? 12 ounces. I'm putting my blender here. This seems like a lot of flour. It's fine, we'll trust it. We'll trust the system. Here we have, no, that's too much water. No, that's too, not much enough water. I think that's enough water. I feel like I measured everything wrong. So it says six grams and this is seven grams, but I don't think it really matters because I don't know how to measure a gram off. All of it was 36 grams, which is 1.3 1, 1 ounces, that's, why do we have to do math? Okay, that's about 1.3. What is this? Okay, it's kind of hot, it's burning, and to hurt my hand. Um, I try to convert it, I don't care anymore, so I got two and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon. This is a lot of salt. I'm not sure if this is correct. One, two, three. Okay, and one tablespoon of sugar. I did not get the sugar out. Do I have sugar in this? Yes, I do, I have sugar. Good, okay, and one, tablespoon of sugar. Ow, it's scorching hot. How much is this? How much is an ounce? Let's see, if I put this in a cup, yes. It fills up a cup, a half, and a fourth. 
So I'm gonna put back the half and then the fourth and then I'll just fill this one halfway. This one no longer needed and then a regular one, right? Or like I should use cold water so that it balances itself out. Wow, I'm so smart. And there we go. I don't care if I'm getting it on my counter. It's fine. We're doing math here, or science, STEM. Okay, it's warm, okay? So now I'm putting this in here. There we go. And now we mix, ooh, it's bumping, look at that. Anyways, what happened to my whisk? The audacity, did it break on me? And then we pour this in. This makes sense. I don't trust yeast. I don't like the concept of it. So anyways, now we pour this in here. I feel like this is a lot, but I hope it's not. I hope it actually works. This is getting very dough-like, and the video was not like this. My chances of actually acing this recipe are very low. So I'm gonna put it in this one, and she kind of sort of like spread it out. I hope it's not in the, and then this is in the way. Like this. And then she said, wait one to two hours so it doubles in size. Now I need to cover it in like a little cover thing. Okay, so I have a cover thing right here and I'm gonna cover it and let it rest for one to two hours. So it'll basically be a couple seconds for you but it'll be a long time for me. So I'll get back to you. Hi, so it's about like an hour, an hour and a half later, and I haven't seen how it looks like, but I feel like it's ready, and uh, we'll do the great review. Wow, it looks like mashed potatoes. I think it's fine, it's fine. We'll just cover that up, it's fine. We grab our good old fashioned cutting board because we're gonna do some skewers. Now, I have different lengths. I have this, which is a 32 inch bamboo skewer. Um, yeah, and I have this um, metal skewer thing, which I'm not sure is good to use, but I don't know. So that's the only two options I have. I'm leaning towards the 32 inch bamboo skewer, but I don't know, we'll see. So let's take out a good fashion long hot dog. Uh, the person was basically like, um, just do it however you want. I have mozzarella cheese, so I'm going to do, maybe, how do I cut knives? Do I cut it away from me or towards me? And now let's grab our skewer. I think I might have to do like the hot dog in like fourths. That might be what I'm gonna have to have to do. So, hot dog, then mozzarella, and then mozzarella. I feel like T-Bone from iCarly. There we go. So that is one stick. And now I saw her grab chopsticks. So <gasps> chopsticks, I can use that. So, and she basically like mixed it all in so that there is no air. And then we like wrap it in. Wow. We wrap it. Add a little more. I feel like I'm using already half of this. This was supposed to make more than one, and this is making one. This is a mess. This is an actual mess. This is horrendous. So I'm gonna try to finish this, and I'll get back to you because I don't know if this is gonna work or not, so. Okay, so after some further research, I concluded that I don't think I'm gonna use this because I might burn my house down, but I don't know. Uh, so I didn't really research it, but I believe it's not good to put metal in very hot oil. But anyways, I have hot Cheetos because I've seen people cover this in hot Cheetos and I was like, oh, I want to do that too. So I bought some hot Cheetos. Let's see if they're good quality. Mm -hmm. Okay. I forgot I have to crush them. I think I should put this in a plastic bag and just smash them. I have a hot bag. And I'm gonna put hot hot cheetos in here. 
and I scratch them. Okay. There we go. I think that's good enough. And now we just dip these into the hot Cheetos. Oh yay, it's not even coating it. There we go. Okay, it's falling apart. Here's one. Off to do the others, which are gonna stain my hands. Okay, so this didn't stain my hand too bad. It's just a little red, but it's fine. So I have, I'm gonna move my cheese. So I have my Hot Cheeto uh, uh, Korean corn dogs. And now I am going to put some oil in that pan and then heat it up and then we're gonna fry them. Yum, yum, yum. Now I'm over here now. So I don't know if that is ready yet. It doesn't look like it, but I don't know how to test it. Isn't it like the little water thing? Think a little bit of water. Think water, get. Oh, 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 I don't know what to do. Should I grab like a little bassinet thing? This is terrifying. Okay, I don't know what to do. If anything goes bad, I'll just scoop it up. Drop it in. So this is probably gonna be a fail. Maybe I can put hot Cheetos on top of it after it, like, it's done, like while it's very hot with oil. Do I just let it sit there? Okay, I guess I'm gonna do another one, right? That's the most logical thing to do. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. It's like a golden brown. Okay. What if I scoop some of the hot oil on top and let it soak and marinate? Fancy, look at that. I am a professional chef right now. I am better than Gordon Ramsay. And just in case Gordon Ramsay is watching this, I do not quote myself on that at all. I 100% don't quote myself on that. So just know that. Okay, look at that. It doesn't look that bad. Okay, it's very hot. Okay, very crunchalicious right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna break this. Now it's time to go down to the depths. Oh, this one can go all the way down. No, it can't. Never mind. What's the point of this long stick if it's not gonna work? And now I'm gonna sprinkle some hot chino on top. Let's flip this over. Let it sit on the other side. Let's do a little soup method. Wow, extra crunchy thickness. Ow! What the heck? I don't even do anything to you. You're hurting me? You're done. You're good. You're cut from the cutting board, or is it chopped from the cho chopping board? You're cut from the chopping board. You're chopped from the cutting board. You're one of those. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this. Oh my god, that looks so good. And there we go. Delicioso. Wow, look at this new angle. I'll just try this one, so. Oh, I'm probably gonna need a trash can. This is probably gonna go everywhere. Okay. Okay, Miss Girl. Look at that. I'm sorry, did you see that? Okay, I almost, I almost stabbed myself. Jesus, okay. Oh, it's kind of spicy. Because of the hot Cheetos, but not really. But like it gives it like a little, oh, you know? It took a long time to do, but it's really good. And like, look at this. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is not highlighter. This is sweat and tears from doing this. Like, oh, this is so good. Chan out, Chan. I didn't think it was gonna turn out, but then, in the end, it turned out. But wait, we're gonna try our, our extra big thickness one. Here is our extra mega thickness. So it's falling apart, so I think it's a little too big and thick for the stick to handle. Oh, that rhymed. Um, so it can't really like connect to all of it, and the cheese is kind of like making it slide. Okay, I'm just falling apart. I gotta put this back. I 100% recommend this. If you have the time to do this, if you have like three hours to do this, 
I definitely recommend to do this. Um, so if you want the actual recipe, I'll link the person that actually did the video down below so you guys can get the recipe and stuff. And actually, you don't even have to do hot Cheetos. You can do sweet ones without like the hot dog and the cheese. It's literally up to your imagination. If you like this video, please give it a like or subscribe. I am not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much truly appreciate it if you did because I made an extra thick, long, humongous dump truck, Korean corn dog that uh, I don't think you'll ever be able to see in your life, except here. So I mean, just consider it, but I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much appreciate it if you did. And I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.